And what drew me to the Franciscans particularly was St. Francis himself, his love and desire to serve the most vulnerable in, uh, in society. And information, that deepened for me. I had a good idea of what Franciscan spirituality kind of was, but um, in Pashyansi we kind of, I kind of, it went from here to here, you know, it went from the head to the heart. Um, and I really fell in love with <clears throat> the person of St. Francis. Whenever I met with the friars, I always felt like I was at home with them. Um, but it's something that's kind of developed further as I've gone through the different stages of formation. You know, we have friends come over to the friary for dinner. They would remark that it looked like a house. It didn't look like um, an institution or a dormitory. It looked very much like a home. We'd have pictures of each other, you know, or Christmas cards and things like that. And the great thing about being a friar is you're moving into a friary with gentlemen that have the same values, um, the same type of spirituality, that being Franciscan. And so wherever you're kind of placed, it's going to be different. And there's going to be different personalities and quirks, but it is always home. Uh, so with that said, um, community life as a friar, it's solid. I really fell in love with the newness that he brought to the church the renewal he brought to the church. And um, I think, uh, you know, there's a call for the new evangelization, but I think it's a constant renewal of the church that we friars play, uh, I think, a very important role in after uh, our Holy Father, St. Francis, is a prime example.